Today I'm going to present very simple short presentation on LGPL, yes, GPL software licensing. I'm Andrei Vinokurtsev, and I want to say that I'm not a lawyer, but I want to make some simple recommendation how to properly use LGPL or GPL software in your products. I was to say that you can find vast majority of material on the internet all of them be correct and right but you need to read many 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 pages and try to understand what is actually right or not what is actually not right then my first recommendation because i'm not a lawyer if you use gpl oil gpl and you want to sell your product as a company or as a private please be advised from the your lawyer and pay money to the correct lawyer but if you just want to use it and a simple short steps how properly use it you can listen this presentation and take these steps how to do it properly then first of all let's start from what is actually lgpl lgpl is free software you can use it you can redistribute it you can sell your solutions that use LGPL. It's free for, for for everything. And actually it is very simple and easy to use. Now, as a cons of this is no warranty. If you found the bug, you should fix it. Nobody going to fix it for you. You can't actually go to somebody that, that created this source and ask, fix it for me, no. But you can claim ownership of the LGPL source. You should mention in your program that you used LGPL source and you should mention in your EULA. And if anybody wants to take this LGPL source that you used and reuse it with all of your modification, you should provide it. And actually, you should take in your about box and say which of LGPL source is used. I think it's very clear, simple and easy to use. Now, GPL source, what is difference? GPL is the same, free software license and you can run it, study it, share it, modify it. You Again, you can modify it whatever you want, you can share it and to give it to somebody else. However, if you use GPL source in your solution, your solution automatically convert to be GPL. Again, your solution automatically convert to be GPL. What do you mean? If you sell your solution, which you can get money for your solution, it's it's your it's your solution. Because you use GPL source, anybody can ask, use your GPL source, please give me a solution as well. Full source code. You should give it because it's free to share, free to modify free to study, free to use. It doesn't mean you can get the money, but you, you actually convert your source to be GPL. Again, it's very easy, very simple. Now, how properly use LGPL? It's very, very easy as well. From all the pages that you're going to read, possibly it's, it's only small few steps that you should use. Try to use only LGPL dynamic linking. If you use static linking, the person who going to use LGPL source or want to get your GPL source with your modification can ask objects of your sources, which is mean it's reverse engineering can actually correct all your sources. But if you use dynamic linking, you can provide only LGPL with your modification, which is actually safe. You you save your solution from all of this. You, as I said, you need to distribute the LGPL sources and you need to say in your EULA and documentation that you use LGPL sources. Very simple. Now, let's see very simple example. For example, FFmpeg. FFmpeg possibly everybody know what it is. Video, audio, streaming, libraries for everybody. It's free, free library that is could be compiled as LGPL and GPL, then make sure that it's compiled as GPL. And again, don't do static linking of FFmpeg, only dynamic linking. For example, if, if you take only FFmpeg.exe, anybody think that is as a tool, 
you can use it, you can reuse it in your source code. However, you should check that ffmpeg.exe not compiled as GPA. Because if it is compiled as GPA and you use it in your software, your software is GPA. Simple. Uh, it looks like all. It's all my recommendation. I'm not a lawyer, but if you follow my presentation, it's everything what you need to know. Thank you very much.